Vusti Tibigwa is my name, CEO of My Growth Fund, a Pan-African venture capital firm. Fellow South Africans, Mr. President, thank you so much for putting all of this together. Second year of South African Investment Conference, 363 billion rand raised. So humbled to be a part of this country, to be a part of the amazing people trying to make it work. If you're watching this, the question for you is what are you doing that's going to make an impact and a difference in South Africa today, not only for you, but also for your fellow South Africans. To all the delegates, the investors, the VC investors, the entrepreneurs, the accelerators, everybody that came out today, all of us play a very critical part in building a better South Africa for all. So let's not stop. Cheers. I'm Manette van der Valt. I'm representing CakeNet, uh, specifically Vince Lane, which is our business program. Today being the third day of the investment conference, um, I'm very excited about uh, what's going to happen today uh, we, as we focus specifically on entrepreneurs and um, innovation. I'm yeah, looking forward to what will be said today. Um, overall, I feel very privileged to be at this event. I think all of us South Africans are obviously looking for something to be optimistic and happy about, especially um, in our economy. And um, yeah, I think it's for a lot of people that are here, it's nice to know that there are a lot of good things happening. So um, yeah, excited to be here. My name is Saul Muska. I work in the presidency in South Africa. And I'm here to see what investors have brought to the conference this year and what government has committed to facilitate investment in this country. It's a really exciting event for us as government and for South Africans. So I'm here both as somebody who is working very hard to grow the economy and to attract investment, but also as a South African um, who is excited about the progress that the country is making. What this year's investment conference proves is that South Africa's economic recovery really is gaining momentum. And to announce 363 billion rand in firmly committed investments is a real boon to this economy. It signals strength, it signals confidence, and it signals that we are making progress as government and as a society to move forward. And what I saw yesterday in Santon was not only enthusiasm from investors from countries across the world, but also real progress from government in addressing some of the obstacles and impediments to growth that have constrained our economy in recent years. So overall, I think just seeing the energy and the excitement in the room from everyone there, from every corner of society and every part of the globe, signaled hope and optimism and left me feeling really inspired about what we can do in the next year. Growing investment, both domestic and foreign, is crucial for economic growth and it's crucial for job creation in South Africa. If we are to move forward as a society, we have to reduce the rate of unemployment. We have to create jobs for people, we have to create income generating opportunities because that is what brings people dignity um, and gives them the ability to fulfill their potential as human beings. And so when we talk about these big investment pledges, and 363 billion is a very big number and it can feel like it's operating at a very high level. But what this investment actually means for the lives of ordinary South Africans is jobs, is income, is growth in the economy that will sustain our recovery and bring hope and dignity to, to people's lives. So I think behind those numbers um, really lies progress in South Africa, and progress to address inequality, to address unemployment, and to reduce poverty. And that's why this conference and the scale of support that investors have shown for South Africa is so exciting. I'm Dr. Siabong Atwele. I was part of the South African government team particularly working from DECO and uh, to participate in the second investment conference for South Africa. The organization of the event, it was really flawless. I interacted particularly with international investors who were happy. No one was experiencing any difficulties in registration, in the arrangements. So that was quite positive to me because we always view ourselves with the eye of the business, particularly the international business. So that was quite good. The, the venue itself and the conduct of the meeting, we had a wonderful program director. Who was, she was very relevant, that young lady, and she kept the program. And that's what impressed most of the investors, that the program was always on time. But more importantly, it was, of course, the core business of the conference, what people were committing to invest. 
uh, we, as we had president, we have increased from 290 to 263 billion rand commitments of investment. And that will bring hope of creating more industry and particularly more jobs for young South Africans. That's what is a hope the president has been speaking about, that we are making it practical now so that our youngsters who are at school, who are finishing school, they'll have the hope that they'll participate in the industry. Today, we're talking about entrepreneurship here in Soweto, so that people must come out of the mindset of being employed to be employers themselves. And uh, as I'm speaking to these young entrepreneurs here, they are doing marvelous things. In, uh, not only in big towns like Johannesburg, I met an entrepreneur from a small village in Pochepsin. Uh, small businesses who are participating here, who have gone through the incubation period, which is offered by our government and the job fund. So those are the positive things. But uh, lastly, just engaging the international investors. Some of them didn't commit. They were coming to learn. That was my sense yesterday. They were trying to understand the business environment. I think our investment book, which has been produced by the ITC working with the TTI, I think is a useful tool so that the entrepreneurs, they can know exactly what type of industries are priority industries for investment, and what type of industries have been prepared for the investors so that they don't start from scratch. Some of them, they are at a bankable stage. That's what they really has been. But of course, I may not conclude with saying that beside the hard work, there was also nice social things, uh, the dinners and uh, the parties. That's what uh, uh, excite most of our visitors because they want to explore our culture. And uh, our culture is very rich. And it came at a time when we, the mood of the country is really up with us being the champions of the world in terms of rugby. I'm Dr. Eugene von Rensburg. I'm from Thaisani Capital. We are interested in investing and growing the SME landscape in South Africa from a revenue growth and a imp social impact perspective. I was fortunate enough to attend the event last year and was incredibly encouraged and energized by the level of commitment shown by corporate South Africa and international investors in the investment and growth of our nation. My expectation this year was to see what had actually happened in terms of on the ground traction and those expectations were exceeded. It has been incredible to see the renewed commitment by the investors to support South Africa in addition to what they committed to last year, as well as feedback on the traction that was made in this last year, not just talk. In terms of um, the additional commitments and the feedback of actual implementation on the ground, it has been incredibly heartwarming and encouraging to see how us as a nation, despite difficulties at present, are pulling together towards a greater good. And I thank the IDC, Brand South Africa, the President's Office, and all of the ministers who have attended to open this debate to be looking at how do we work together as private sector and public sector in unlocking our full potential as a great South African nation. The benefit of having events such as these is immeasurable. We are a nation of resilient people with incredible intellectual and economic potential that should be taking our rightful place on the international business stage. And so this event should be supported, should be followed through with many other smaller events in terms of focusing on specific outcomes from discussions had. And one should really encourage the, both the, the public and private sector to move beyond waiting for events like this to get activity on the ground that impacts real people in our urban areas, in our rural areas. We've got so much to give, not just as South Africans to ourselves, but to contribute to the global stage. And so I'd love to encourage my fellow South Africans in pulling together and making a difference in every day that we, we make an economic decision or an investment or a business decision. Um, in mentoring the youth, in growing our people that work with us and investing into time into our great nation. I'm Anthony Costa, the Investment Mobilization Program Lead at the Investment Secretariat based at the IDC. 
Today was the second and final day of the South African Investment Conference hosted by President Cyril Ramaphosa, focusing specifically on entrepreneurship, small businesses and innovation. Yesterday's event where the President announced that we had some 363 billion rand worth of pledges was largely from large businesses, South African corporates, multinational corporations. To raise billions of rands, you need companies that are worth billions of rands. Today though was focused on the companies and the people building those companies who will one day create the billion rand companies of tomorrow. So it's important to cover both the existing companies as well as the future business leaders. Entrepreneurship is particularly important because lots of people have an idea but very few of us actually have either the courage or the finance or the skills to take the leap into our own business. So today we shared stories from individuals who run businesses as well as individuals who fund them so that people sitting here, the audience, the investors, the entrepreneurs of tomorrow understand what it is that they need to make themselves successful. We were incredibly fortunate to have some fantastic sponsors from the South African corporate world. Anglo-American was our lead sponsor together with Naspers, Vodacom, Telcom and of course the IDC was a key sponsor and I'm not just saying that because I work for the IDC but all of these organizations have made a difference in stepping up and contributing towards the vision that President Ramaphosa set out of driving investment for economic growth in South Africa. Hi, Alison Collier. I lead the team Endeavour here in South Africa and it's been great coming to this conference. Um, I want to say yesterday and today what a phenomenal experience bringing together investors, corporates and the entrepreneurs and really crystallising an opportunity that sits here in South Africa for business and encouraging investment. Today was on the panel, was moderating with uh, some phenomenal and medium-sized entrepreneurs and was really inspiring to hear their stories, to see what phenomenal businesses they have built over the last couple of years, albeit the difficult economic climate, and really are role models and examples to us that with the right partners that they have invested in their business as well as the right team that they have with them, that anything's possible and they've doubled the size of their teams, they have doubled or tripled the size of their revenue and now extending overseas. With those type of businesses being role models for us, I think it will really attract the right type of investment that we're looking to see. I really think this conference is a phenomenal opportunity for these entrepreneurs to really, one, get their stories out if they are on the stage and they're sharing their messages, and two, start inspiring others and also sharing the message with the investor community on what opportunities are available for them as investors to really get behind and support.